Hello everyone and welcome to this here episode of um, the 827 Vitesse restoration or um, putting back to as I believe it should be. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It really does help me out and helps the channel out. And leave a comment below. But what we are doing this time, lovely, our good lovely friend there. What we are doing this time is we're going to take this all this front off. I'm going to take these screws out and take them home. And then we're going to, we're going to... Um, clean them all down, get rid of all the rust, and then we're gonna sort them out. But the main thing really is taking all this off, cleaning anything that's underneath, and yeah, making it so it's not a disgusting mess when it's sitting around. So let's get to it. I didn't actually intend to film this episode. I've just sort of rocked up and decided it's nearly sunset, let's do it. So let's do it. First things first, take these this grill off. There are a few wear marks on it, but it's not too bad. There's obviously the four screws here, which look absolutely painful. And then of course, we've got to take a few other bits off this, um, I think it's a slam panel, not 100%. I'm going to take this off and then you see things like all oh, this dirt in here. It's just, it's not on brother, it's not on. I also want to take the air box off, give that a good clean. The battery tray, I need to take that out and give that a good good shout as well so it's just all these annoying little things that if i paid someone to do it it would cost me a million billion pounds but because i'm doing it because i'm doing all the little bits and i'm getting someone to do the big work because i mean a good guy of mine did the bonnet i mean look at how nice that bonnet is so i want him to do the rest of it so obviously i've already done this bumper but to me it's not really up to scratch anymore so it's just a case of us taking all of this stuff off doing all the tiny little bits and then getting everyone else to do the rest. So once we've sorted out the, the leaks and stuff, which will be in the next, the next episode, then we'll sort everything else out. But it's really just a case this time of finding out everything wrong with my 325 pound Rover Vitesse. So we'll take this grill off now. There's two little lugs in here, I think, and then it connects. Oh no, it connects to the lights. Completely forgot about that. There's like two clips, plastic clips underneath here that connect to the light, so I'll get that off. It's just a case of putting them forward. Oh no, you push them in. You push them in like that, and then the clips come out. Push the other one in. Boom, we are grillless. And look at all this here. I think that's the air conditioning condenser on the front, the main radiator on the back. Um, oh, hello. What's going on here? This is shot off. Oh, there's something missing. We'll need to figure out what that is. Anyone know? Let me know. I think we might replace these two if I can find another air conditioning condenser anyway, because it's sort of taking a beating. But luckily, since we have that, the main radiator is, is looking perfectly fine. So we'll need this. We'll also need another support bracket because that is not looking very supportive. Next thing's next, our lovely glass Austin Rover lights. Four of these at the top, and I think there is one hidden somewhere down there, but I'll put something on screen to show you exactly where all that is, and we'll take these off. I've done this before, obviously, when I fitted this bumper. The main thing is getting this all off and having a good look at exactly what, what is going on underneath it. That is not how screws should be reinstalled with the, all this stuff on them. At the end of the day, the, the, what I want this to be is all you guys are like, oh, I still, it's, you know, 2000, um, 2000 years later, and I'm still taking this thing to pieces. <laughs> next thing's next is the bumper on these ones that fit here, here, two screws under there. And I think there is two under here to attach the under tray, but I don't even think I've installed mine. We'll have to have a look. See if it falls <laughs> when we take it off. Oh no, I think we've got one in. Yeah, we do, we have them in. Cool. So we're gonna take the, this front bit off now. There we go.
upside down. Cool, we're off. There we are. Faceless. There we go, faceless. So we sort of know what we're dealing with now. So we're taking this bumper off, of course, we've found that there's no cracks on it. There is a fair bit of pitting now from our motorway driving, but not too much. The paint and the color is all right. It's nearly there, structurally okay, doing good. But obviously that's not my concern. My main concern is all this stuff. So we need to get this crash bar off. We need to get this off actually first, because um, I want to have a good look at this latch and just, you know, refurbish it. So that's a good before for you. It's just all this little, these little bits of furniture. And then we'll take the wings off at a later date and then we'll, we'll see, take some moss off. These things that are called bumper mounts are just mounts for the crash bar. So we obviously need to get that off. First things first, we need to take this off. This here definitely needs to come off and be sorted out. Look at that rust coming through. Of course, this is part of the car that will get battered all the time. As you can see, the this is really busty, so this will need to be taken off. Someone at some point has just attacked this with under seal, or is that that's oil, that's engine oil? So someone at some point, oh well, this car at some point has been leaking from the very front. It used to have an under tray on it before I took it off, and basically the under tray would run up there for some stupid reason. So I guess we're gonna have to take that that off, but. I want to take this crash bar off first. I've got another one of these somewhere, so hopefully if this little bit is is bad, we can obviously change it. But I think these are all, besides that one that looks completely different, these are all nine. We are at 10, oh, 10 mil. These are all 10 mil. They should be anyway. Unfortunately, everyone's worst nightmare has happened. It snapped, but pro tip, this should get it out. So you put a little bit from the screwdriver and then you whack it on the top. So hopefully I can show you this. Let's just have a look. Bugger. Let's just took that out. We need something a bit more substantial. There you go. Hope is not lost, my friends. However, we will need to get another 10 mil and we will need to drill that out of there. How stubby that screw is. Look at that. So I'll whack that here for now. So this, once we get this one out anyway, it should just come off. Unfortunately, we won't be able to latch our bonnet, but that's the least of our concerns at the moment. Bit of a tip for you lot. If you've got a screw and um, thingamabob situation like I have, where you've got one of these weird captive things, I don't know what they're called, stick a rock behind it. Metal versus rock, usually rock wins. I don't think it's an option in rock, well, metal isn't an option in rock, paper, scissors. That's how I work that out, because obviously it would be overkill. And you can just, if your screw's sitting there spinning around because of a broken back like that, you literally just do that. And then you can, you get enough um, grip on the rock, and it'll take it straight off. Look at that. No, I didn't damage that, that was already there. But now we've got our latch off brilliant stuff. I think this is going to be homework for me, taking this apart and cleaning it up. We are losing the light and she is looking rather comfy right now. So I guess we will um, depart for today. So you'll see me tomorrow. But if we have it like this, we can say the front paint's perfect on the outer body panels because we've only got one. Brilliant. Hello everyone. Um, another day. In fact, a whole other season. <laughs> um, so I've sort of been leaving this thing for a bit because the SD1 and Maestro have taken priority as well as the 75 because of how bad that's been <laughs> with the money side of things. So this thing here, um, the sort of decision for me is um, I need another one of these. If anybody knows what this bolt is, by the way, I am none the wiser. I cannot find anything about it. No one will answer my question um, on the forums. Uh, maybe because it's a silly question or maybe I should know. I don't know. Anyway, so... This here needs um, another bolt, so 
if someone could tell me what that is, please help me. I don't know what it is. Um, ba- if that's basic mechanics, then I am not a mechanic at all. Well, I never said I was. Um, the power steering um, is leaking from one of the thingies under here. I think it's this pipe here. It's leaking. We've got a bit of an oil leak, as you can tell from. I think it's the front. Um, one of the front head. So that's a very nice. Um, I think though for this this thing. The main thing for me is um, getting it sort of getting the brakes sorted. So um, I spoke to Chris, a good friend of mine, Christopher, and he has suggested that I get all my brake lines done and brake hoses done. So I'm going to get that done as well. So the big list for this car really is it's a lot of mechanical stuff now that I can't really do inside of a container. So the first phase of this really will be in probably about January, February, or even April. Um, sending, it, I'll obviously be doing things in the meantime, by the way, so like this, all this front end, I'll be taking a lot of this to pieces and replacing all the little things, you know, the things that you don't, I don't really wanna pay someone a million, billion pounds to do, um, and refurbishing all that. I'll be taking the wings off and sorting all underneath, just general stuff like that. That scuttle will be coming off, just going through it all with a fine tooth comb and really just making it a lot cleaner because it, this car will never ever be restored outside again um, because I, I just love it far too much and I know it's 230,000 miles um, but come on she's made it this far she deserves she deserves a good a good home so it, it, whether it stays in here for a, a while longer after it's been finished or it goes somewhere else there's a good classic car storage place that I'm really interested in um, but yeah, anyway, um, or I might rent a barn, who knows? If there's about any barns around South Yorkshire or garages that, you, that I have to rent, let me know, I would love that. But anyway, um, so my jobs are taking this rest of this off, sourcing more bolts and all that jazz because I hate rusty bolts, especially with a car like this. Um, I need one of these, if someone can tell me what it is, because I'm none the wiser. Um, we need to sort our brake pipes out and brake hoses out so we can hopefully get ABS back again. If that doesn't work, I'm replacing that ABS module. If that doesn't work, I'm replacing the one on the boot, but the boot seems to be fine. What it's telling me is it's the um, valve um, relay, so who knows what that could be, because I've replaced that <laughs> and it's still not working. Then next on the list, obviously, after the mechanicals, oh, and an exhaust. I'm looking for a full stainless steel exhaust um, from the uh, manifold back. So I, I'm to getting rid of the catalyst now. It doesn't legally need to have one anyway. So we're getting rid of that because that, well, well they'd already did that for me anyway. So I'll be sorting that out. And then obviously once she's all had a brakes done and the sill sorted out, the exhaust done, and I've gone through all of this, then it will be time to send it in for a respray. Of course, you can see here, if I just shut my, my bonnet, this has already been done. Sorry, it's a bit dirty. I really did not clean this very well when I put it away. This has already been done. You all know this needs to be done. Doors need to be done. This awful roof needs to be done. Aperture is looking all right. It was just a bit crusty in the end, but I'll be getting that cut out and sorted out. Then the the um, thingy my bob and everything needs to be done. But it's really, it makes me feel this. She may not be the um, the best in terms of condition. But God damn, I love this car so much. I really, really like this car. I don't think I'll ever give up on it, never. I had people contacting me after the, the incident, sort of trying to buy it off me. No way. I love it far too much. In terms of the interior and that, that is completely an afterthought at this point. I'm not too interested in that at the minute. The main thing is getting this awful roof sorted and everything. And then this um, will probably become a daily driver which sounds a bit weird, I know. Um, or it will become a sort of car that I get out every so often as like a show car. So that's all for now. You'll join me in the next video and um, that should be soon because I've actually started, you know, making videos again after a bit of a hiatus. So you'll join me in the next video where I will be taking even more of the front apart and cleaning it all up because I really do want it to look absolutely amazing i mean if you if i push it that enough you'll get you see silver under there and that's what i want to see 
another thing as well i'm going to change all the plugs and the leads and stuff i think but we'll see how that goes so oh and that's all going to get sorted out so thank you for watching everyone and um, remember to subscribe for more of this jazz and um see you soon cheers